Today I'm going to show you guys how to record your gameplay on PS5, no capture card required. Yes, you really can make great videos on YouTube without a capture card. So we're basically going to go through everything you need to know in terms of recording your footage, editing your footage, and then actually sharing and posting your footage to YouTube, all while just using your PlayStation 5. Now granted, during this process you can do things like transfer your footage to a USB flash drive and then edit it on your computer. But for those of you who just have a PS5 and want to record, edit, and post great YouTube videos, videos, this tutorial is for you. G'day, my name's Marcus, I've worked on multiple successful channels, but I understand that getting views and subscribers is bloody goddamn hard. So I started GYGC to share some of my experiences, tactics, and strategies. And one of the best ways to actually start growing your gaming channel is to actually start posting YouTube videos. So let's get straight into this tutorial. First, we're going to head to our PlayStation and we're going to open up the game that we want to record. We're going to get started by actually recording our footage, obviously, because if we haven't got our footage recorded, then we're kind of screwed in all the other areas. Now, in order to begin recording our Footage, the first thing we're going to do is to press the create button on our controller located on the left side of the d-pad Then we're going to navigate to the button on the far right of the screen when this menu pops up and select capture options This menu is going to pop up and I'm going to walk you through what all these things do basically So first if your TV or monitor is capable of outputting HDR Then you want to make sure this switch is turned on It's basically just going to make your gameplay look a little bit sexier However, if your TV or monitor is not capable of outputting HDR Or you just can't be bothered to google it up and figure out whether it is or not Just leave this on default Next let's go down to clip format and try and select MP4 Because generally speaking it's going to save you headaches If you're trying to integrate with multiple different programs or things Things in the future but if you want to record in WebM for some reason or you need to record in WebM it's not really that big of a deal next we can choose our recording resolution which is basically going to be the quality of our video now 1920 by 1080 is pretty much the standard video quality on YouTube so it looks great file size is pretty reasonable and I recommend you just stick with that however if you do want to record in max quality select 3840 by 2160 this is also known as 4k now if you do select 4k you will be unable to record in the mp4 format and your videos will be much larger. Meaning if you want to record multiple videos, you'll chew through your storage incredibly quickly. But if you want to impress all of those PS4 players with your amazing 4K gameplay, this is the way to go. Finally, if you want to include your mic and party audio in your video, simply flick the corresponding switch slash switches. So now we've selected our settings, we can return to the previous menu and actually start our recording. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the start new recording button. And just like that, our gameplay will begin to record. In this case, we're culling the local or feathered population and when you're ready to stop your recording and save your clip all you have to do is press the create button once more and hit the big stop recording button when you do that your video will be saved to your capture gallery automatically and that's really it that's how you start recording your video so we now have our footage in our capture gallery now you may want to actually edit it though before you actually post it to YouTube because unedited videos generally suck now if you do the majority of your editing on your computer you can transfer the footage from your PlayStation to your computer using a USB flash drive and I've got a separate tutorial that will show you how to do exactly that and I'll link that tutorial at the end of this video if you're interested but in the meantime let's look at how to actually edit your footage directly on your PS5 using the free app called Share Factory. Now obviously you'll need to download and open Share Factory but when you do that you'll see this screen. So let me quickly walk you through the basics of editing a video. First you want to make sure you're on the video editing tab which is the tab on the far left and then we're going to select the new project option. You can then choose one of these pre-prepared creator kits which will basically decide on the theme of your video. It'll provide you with an intro, an outro, a custom stickers and and transitions if you're into that kind of thing but if you want to keep it simple just like in this tutorial we're just going to choose no pack and once we do that we'll be sent to this incredibly ugly user interface which will allow us to select the clips that we want in our video so not only can we edit our clip but we can actually stitch together up to 50 clips into one coherent video as long as that video is under 80 minutes in length and once your footage has been selected just hit the square button on your controller and the project will begin now you will be prompted to rename your project and if you're planning on having multiple projects I would recommend that you do rename your project to something less excruciatingly generic but for the sake of not boring you to tears I'm just going to jump right into this so welcome to the share factory video editing interface now I know it looks confusing but it's actually not that scary so we're going to walk you through all of the basics that you need to know right now first thing you want to know is how to start and stop your video from playing and the way you do that is by pressing R2 on your controller you can also move the right analog stick side to side to navigate through your video a little bit more efficiently and for more precise movement you can use the right and left buttons on your directional pad to move forward 
or backwards in time. You can also use the up and down buttons to zoom in or out of your timeline if you wish. So now that we've got navigation out of the way, let's actually look at adding some effects tracks or other cool things to our video. So to do that, you're gonna wanna hit X on your controller and we'll see a couple of options. For example, we're gonna add some music to our video. We're gonna choose add music. Now we're gonna choose the music that we actually want. Let's go with this one for this video. When we select that, the music's gonna be automatically added to our timeline. It's also gonna be highlighted as well, which means that if we press square on our controller, we will actually be able to edit it. So for example, we press square now, you can see we have the option to split our music, to change the volume, to move it forwards or backwards in time. We can move it all the way to the beginning if we want. We can trim our music, we can add fades in or fades out to our music. You get the idea. Now, if you do want me to go into like a really in-depth tutorial as to what specifically all of these things do, let me know in the comments. But for now, I think most of you guys will be able to figure out what these things do from here. So now that we've added music, let's go back to our project and hit square on our video clip. Because remember, square seems to allow us to edit stuff on Share Factory. So when we do that, we'll be presented with a bunch of editing options. Now again, some of these terms may seem self-explanatory, but let's go through a couple of them. Firstly, playback. Playback allows us to play our clip in reverse or rewind or to rebound it. Let's have a look at another feature, Time Bender. This feature allows you basically to do slow motion or fast motion, aka bend time. So you can feel like a Marvel character. Another option you can select is this one, which will allow you to zoom in or out on your clip and also pan around it. Another crucial thing you will need to know is how to split your clip as well, which will allow you to divide your video into certain segments, which you then can move around or delete certain segments, stitch others together, basically just tidy up your video and make it a lot less boring. So I don't want this video to drag on for too long, but if you do want me to really go into depth on like what all of these things are, let me know in the comments. But for now, let's look at two last things things, which the first of which is saving, the last one is exporting. So as you're going through your video, you will probably want to save the video. So if something happens, you're not going to lose all of your progress. And to do that, you're going to hit the options button on your controller and you can select to save your video. Now you may have also noticed in that same menu, when we pressed options, we could export our video. And that's what we're going to do now. That's the final step. Once we've finalized our video, we've done all of our editing, we can export our video, which is basically going to combine all of our clips and effects into one piece of footage, which we'll then be able to upload to YouTube. And so we're gonna do that now. Export to your export gallery. And once your PlayStation has finished actually exporting and rendering your video, we'll be able to upload it either directly from our gallery or we can actually use the prompt that Share Factory presents us with to select YouTube and upload it right now. Now, obviously you can upload your video to YouTube by selecting Share and bringing up this menu. And if your YouTube account is already linked, all you have to do is hit the YouTube option and you'll be presented with some steps that you can fill out to upload your video. But if your account is not linked, for example, like this Twitter account, when I go into it, basically you're gonna have to select the YouTube YouTube option. You're gonna have to input some of your details to actually link your account, but you only have to do that once. But I'm actually gonna back out of this because I wanna show you how to upload through your Capture Gallery. Now the process is exactly the same, but I just wanna show you how to share to YouTube from your Capture Gallery as well, since you may not wanna edit your videos. So in our Capture Gallery, we're gonna locate the clip or video that we wish to share. And when we do that, we're gonna press the Options button on our controller, select Share on the located video that we wish to upload to YouTube. And then obviously if we're uploading to YouTube, we're gonna select to upload to YouTube. Now remember, if your account is not linked, you will have to link it. But since my account is linked, we're just gonna go straight to this screen, which is gonna allow us to change our titles, our descriptions, our tags, and our privacy settings. So whether we upload to public, private, or unlisted. And once you've filled out these options, you're done. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, but before you duck off, I do wanna thank Bryce for helping me create this video. He's a legend and his channel is linked below if you're interested. Also, if you'd like to learn more about how to start and grow a successful gaming channel, feel free to check out the video that I've got linked on screen. In it, I'll reveal the 11 step method I use to grow my gaming channel from zero to over 20 million views and you might find it helpful. Oh, and on screen, I've also linked the video that'll show you how to transfer your footage from your PlayStation to your computer using the USB. So feel free to watch that if you're interested. I'll catch you later.